And what I told them was, when you're as lucky and fortunate uh, as I am to be um, uh, honored with something like this tonight, what you really want to do is thank the people that supported you, uh, thank the people that meant so much to you uh, over the years. And do you remember what we, we decided there were three groups of people we were going to thank? Do you remember who the three were? Who? Ben? You want to say it to the microphone? <laughs> His family, his teammates, and his coaches. Right. Exactly right. That's what we said. Do you want to do the rest of this? <laughs> um, let me start with the family. Um, I'm thrilled that virtually my entire family is here tonight. The only one who's not here is my three-year-old son, Matthew, and that's for obvious reasons. Um, and although the light is right in my eyes, um, my mother and father, Jack and Jane Real, my uncle Ed, my mother and father-in-law, Bob and Elaine Wallace, my lovely wife, Cara, and at the next table, uh, my brother Mike and his wife, Maria, my brother-in-law, CJ, and my sister, Mary Ellen, and my brother, Tim. Um, I'm, I'm probably like most people and, you know, quite frankly, think that I've got the greatest family going. Um, I, I just can't say enough about uh, what my family means to me today, the support that they continue to give me, uh, and certainly what they, they gave uh, for all the years uh, that we played, uh, all these different sports. I mean, my parents were, um, you know, the classic sports parents. They took us everywhere, to whatever sporting event it may have been, um, to whatever venue, and uh, some of the hockey places that we play and the time that we play. Um, it's amazing that they were able to do what they were able to do. So, uh, to my entire family, uh, I can't thank you enough. And quite frankly, um, this night is as much yours as it is mine. So, thanks a lot. The, uh, the second uh, group of people I want to thank are the coaches I've had. Um, you know, I think quite frankly, sometimes you just get lucky and you're able to have people who, uh, who care, who understand the game, but more than anything, they, they keep it fun. You know, they teach you how to do things, but they keep it enjoyable and they keep it fun. And uh, I, I think I've really been about as lucky as a person could be uh, for the, the various coaches that I've had. From the very early days of Watertown Youth Hockey, uh, Mr. Hawsworth, Mr. Cousineau, uh, Mr. McGinnis, Artie Venezia, when I got up towards uh, junior high, I had Coach Devaney, uh, high school, Coach Gardner, and of course, Coach Humilly. And um, I, I do want to spend a minute, uh, in particular, talking about Coach Humilly, because you know, when you're 15, 16, 17 years old, needless to say, it's, a, um, it's an age where you're uh, pretty impressionable. And uh, I can just remember, being in, you know, in Pee Wee hockey and Phantom hockey, all I wanted to do, all Chris Villacas wanted to do, all Jack Cosworth wanted to do was play for Coach Emily. We couldn't wait to get up there and play for him. And the three years that I had with him uh, are three of the best years I've ever had. You know, it, it goes without saying that he made all of us better players. Uh, and he got us to the point where we won. Um, I, he, he turned me into a better player than I ever thought I could be. But quite frankly, it's, it's the things beyond that that uh, really mean the most to me. You know, Coach taught us a lot of different things. He taught us how you act when you win, taught us how you act when you lose, you know, the, the way you should be when you're facing adversity. He taught us, you know, leadership. He basically taught us how to act like grown men at the ages of 15, 16, and 17. And a lot of the things that he taught us and showed us back then, I still use today. Um, I think the, the best way I can sum up Coach Humilly and how important he's been to me is if, if this guy here is fortunate enough to have a coach like Coach Humilly, then I'm personally, as a father, going to be a very happy guy. So Coach, thank you for everything you've done. And last, but certainly not least, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about my teammates. And the, the way I guess I wanted to 
to talk about this was to talk probably about the about the favorite memory I've had, and not just at Watertown High, but even at my days at BC. And, and I was very fortunate at BC. We won a lot of games. We played in a lot of NCAA tournament games, and so on and so forth. But there's a particular. Um, well, let me just let me just talk about it. My senior year, 1983, um, we thought we were going to have a pretty good team. And um, I think most people thought we were going to be pretty good. But quite frankly, we just hadn't done it before. You know, we hadn't shown that we could get over that hump and, and, uh, and win games on a regular basis. And we knew that the last time a Watertown team had made the state tournament in hockey was 1948. So it had been a long time. And I have to tell you, we desperately, desperately wanted to be that team. We wanted to be the ones that got over the hump. Uh, and that year, we, we got off to a pretty good start. At one point in the season, we were actually in first place. Uh, we stumbled a little bit, a couple of games towards the end. And we had one game left. It was a makeup game against Stoneham, up at Stoneham. And although we'd only lost four games that year out of 18, we still had to tie that game to get into the state tournament. Um, so we go up to Stoneham, and I have to tell you, I think probably half of Watertown showed up at that game. It was just an incredible amount of support um, for all of us. Um, we went ahead, we got behind, we ended up tying the game up, and then the third period, I think we pretty much hung on for dear life, and uh, we, we, we tied the game and got into the state tournament. So we needed the tie, we got it, and, and so we were in. And the celebration that we had, the celebration on the ice, the celebration in the locker room where you know a lot of the a lot of the kids, our classmates, came down into the locker room, uh, and even more than that, going back to the high school when the bus pulled in, and you know our friends and our family, a lot of people had gone back to the high school and waited for us. That was um, still to this day is one of my favorite memories, and you don't have things like that happen to you unless you have great family, unless you have great coaches, and unless you have great players and great friends that you can experience that with. So to people like Chris Valakis, Jack Hosworth, Danny Sacco, Freddie Coleman, all the seniors that I played with, and all the other guys, um, a huge thank you to you because I don't have memories like that and I'm not up here tonight, it's not for you. So with that being said, I love my time at Watertown High. I'm very proud of what we were able to accomplish and being inducted.